So you guys absolutely love my previous video where I showcased the new features of the magnetic mask in Final Cut Pro 11. Let's get into it. So you have your first clip here and your second shot here. So we're going to be using this one to kind of like overlay onto the second clip. So what you want to do is select this clip here and you're going to hold option and you're going to drag upwards to duplicate the clip. Then go over to the effects and you're going to go down to the masks and keying and go over to the magnetic mask, click and drag and drag it onto that second clip. So we're going to move the playhead at the end, go one frame to the left. So go ahead and click once to make your select of your mask and it completely selected the subject using AI. So Apple just did an amazing job with the magnetic mask. Then all you're going to do to track the subject, you're going to hit this track backwards button. This will track all of the frames going backwards. So I'm going to track backwards and now you're going to see it's going to use the AI to track backwards. Okay, so it just finished tracking her face. Click on done. What you want to do is we're going to trim the end of this bottom clip inwards a little bit. With the entire clip selected, we're going to go over to the crop and we're going to go to Ken Burns and we're going to start the green rectangle box. We're going to leave the, that one how it is, but move the red rectangle inwards and you can drag this outside of your subject. I'm going to go to the very top right of this clip. I'm going to click done. And now you're going to have this super slow kind of uh, zooming effect. There's only one of her. So I want to create some really cool clones. So without having to do anything else, all you really have to do is press command B with this clip here uh, a few times and you're done. So now it'll just make a lot of copies without you having to do anything else. So what we're gonna do is hold option and drag upwards to duplicate our clip. And we're first gonna add the magnetic mask so we can mask out what we want to only affect. In this case, I only wanna affect the Beats Pill speaker so we can add the liquid explosion to it. So we're gonna go over to the mask and keying and we're gonna add the magnetic mask and we're gonna drag that directly onto our clip. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to just select our speaker. So I'm gonna to go to the end first, go one frame to the left so we can see our video and we're gonna click once and then we're gonna hold option and click around the area that you do not want part of your mask to be. So this is completely fine. So now we're going to click on the analyze backwards button. So this will analyze all of the frames from that playhead backwards. So you can see how good of a selection the magnetic mask did. And we're actually going to duplicate this clip one more time. So we're going to hold option and duplicate the clip one more time. And we're going to select the top clip and we're going to go over to the effects. We're going to go to the magnetic mask and we're going to reset the value. So click on this little icon with this little person here to enable the on-screen controls. And then we're going to click reset because we're going to reset our mask. And we're going to start this at the beginning and we're going to select her hand. So we're going to click this plus button to select her hand. Click once to make your selection and then hold option and click once to deselect any of the areas that you do not want part of the mask. So I'm going to hold option, click there. I'm going to click once here. So now I'm going to click on the track forwards button and this will track her hand moving forwards. So you can see how good of a selection it is doing. So now if I go back and push play, anything in red is what the what Final Cut Pro has tracked. In this case, it only tracked her hand. Go ahead and click on done. So we have our mask. So you can see if I disable the two clips on the bottom, it just selected her hand. It did miss a little bit of her nail. You can go back and fix that. So now we're going to go over to the titles and generators. So go ahead and open up the titles. You're going to go down to the KTP surge effects. So once you download the plugin, you're actually going to install it into the titles folder in Final Cut Pro. So it's going to be in the movies folder. I have a tutorial if you visit the website. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the reverse one. So we're going to click and drag this in between our top clip, so right here, and I'm gonna cut the clip right here, so press Command B and delete the rest. So now you're gonna have something that looks like this. So I'm going to stop the clip about halfway because I don't want it to last too long, so about here. Then you're gonna select the plugin and the middle clip, which is the one with our speaker. <laughs> We're gonna hold Option G to group them together. I'm just gonna name this group and press OK. So now only the speaker is being affected with the surge effects. Now we don't need the rest of this clip, so press Command B and you can delete the rest, and then it stops right at that playhead so it looks just like this if you click on this and you click on the surge effects you can actually change all of these values you can actually increase the color you can increase the brightness you can change the color to like pink or you know whatever you want so i think this is kind of cool so if i go back you can do something that looks like this and it looks absolutely insane in order to do that, all you got to do is select the first clip and hold option and just drag upwards. Go over to the effects and go to the mask and keying and add the magnetic mask. We're going to start in the middle so we can actually see our post. It's kind of a post in this gas station. So we're going to click once to select it, hold option and click anywhere else outside of that mask that we do not want part of our mask. So once you are happy with that, we're going to click the, we can click analyze. So this will analyze forwards and then backwards from the current frame 
from this point here. So we're just going to click on analyze. So now we can kind of skim through and we can see it did actually a really good job besides this area right here kind of messed up. So in order to fix that, just go to that area by using the left and right arrow keys and go over to the brush tool. So we're going to use the negative brush tool, click and drag to paint out that area that we don't want. And that looks pretty good. So we want to use the following clip, which is going to be this one. And I'm going to click and drag this in between our clips here. So kind of like this, you don't have to drag it all the way to the beginning because the clip really doesn't start till here. Once it goes past this post is when our following clip will be shown. So we're just going to drag this to the left right here in this playhead. Select this clip now and we're going to go over to the effects and we're going to go to mask and keying and we're going to add a draw mask to this clip. So add a draw mask to it and we're going to zoom out of the screen here and then we're going to click over our mask like this. Okay, so it's going to be right here. So we're actually going to go over the inspector window and we're going to add a keyframe next to control points and we're also going to add it next to position under transforms. So now we can go ahead and click on the beginning of our clip and go one frame to the right. You can see if we skip through our clip that the frame is not moving with our mask. So for this to work, because we've already added our keyframes, every time it moves, we're going to click in between these two points and move it out like that. So now it's moving with our post, which is exactly what you want. So make sure it moves kind of like that. You can skip a couple frames, but just make sure that it looks just like this. And once you're at this area, you can just drag it all the way to the end. And that's totally fine too. And we're going to go back to fit. So now if you push play, it's going to look just like this. And we could also add a motion blur to this clip here as well. I go up to blur and I add a directional blur to the clip. It's just going to make it a lot smoother. So it hides a little bit of the detail. So I like to do that in my opinion and maybe increase it a little bit more depending how you mask this out. But I think this is fine. So what we want to do first is have the clip you want to add the text effect to. And this is from the actual music video. I didn't make these, but I think these look really cool. We can kind of create some inspiration from these. So we're going to select the clip and we're going to go over to where it says blend mode. And we want to pretty much isolate the text from the black background. So we're going to change it from normal to add. And this will just change it. So now we can drag this above our clip. Now you can sort of see through the clip. It's not going to be 100% keyed out. If you want to do that, you can go over to the effects and go to the masks and add a green screen key, or you can add a luma key. If you add the luma key, it also takes it out. We're going to duplicate the bottom clip. So hold option and drag upwards, then go over to the effects and add the magnetic mask onto our new clip. Then at the beginning, we're going to select the car and anything that we need to track. So I'm going to deselect the gas pump. I'm going to select the shadows because that's important. And I'm going to hold option and click outside of it. So this is really good in my opinion. So now I'm going to click on the analyze button and this will analyze forwards and backwards. So once it finishes, you're going to see it's uh, AI did a really good job of selecting the shadows. So we're going to click on done and we can see the, uh, the final effect. And all you got to do is just drag this above our text and you're done. That's all you have to do. And then, of course, you can select the clip and create a feather if you want to feather it outwards or inwards to kind of mimic a fake shadow. You could easily do that. You want to make sure your text is inside of the area that you want to come out of, in this case, like this McLaren, and you don't want it anywhere like out here because it will show. So let me show you what I mean. If I hold option and I drag and duplicate our clip here, we're going to go over to the effects and we're going to add that magnetic mask and I'm going to disable the text for now and I'm going to go ahead and go back to our middle clip. Click once and you can see it just automatically selects our subject. I'm holding option to deselect anything I do not want, kind of like that. And then I also want to select the, the side mirrors. This looks pretty good. I'm then going to analyze and it also selects the uh, sewer thing here. So we're going to have to remove that. So that's an easy fix. What I want to do is go to the end, go one frame to the left. Right here is where this kind of messes up. So I'm going to hold option and click once you get it completely out of our selection like that. All you got to do now is just track backwards, which is uh, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to check backwards. Okay, so it just finished and it fixed that issue. So now it's not selecting the sewer. So once you have the car selected and masked out, you can see it looks like this. Now all you have to do is select the title and move it in between your clip that you masked out. And now it's going to look like it's being revealed, which is the effect here. And the thing I like to do is select the top clip and go over to the inspector window and create a little bit of a feather. So it looks like the shadow of the car is kind of being casted on that as well. That's pretty much the effect. It's a really easy one. It's just one that you kind of have to think about a little bit before actually shooting this. Find awesome drag and drop editing packs on my website. Choose your favorite, add it to your cart and download instantly. Just drag and drop the assets into your timeline. Check out kingtutspro.com for more. If you found this video helpful at all, 
all, if you guys could leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below, that would be awesome. And I'll catch you guys on another Final Cut Pro 11 video.